And they didn't take your clothes this time, though. <laughs> oh, hi, Decade. How you feeling, buddy? You don't have to get up right now. There's no rush. Go ahead and sleep in. Sleep as long as you like. I'm just saying this, cause once you leave your cell, that's when the shit begins. And trust me, you're gonna wish you had just stayed asleep. So what the hell was that? You just appeared there out of nowhere. Yeah, I just felt like it would be more personal if I showed up in the cell with you. I'm gonna peace out after we're done talking, though. Oh, uh, not if I kill you first. I, are you one of Dr. Disaster's experiments? Because most times we kill things and they stay dead. Yeah. Not all times. There have been exceptions. Who the hell are you anyway? Well, I guess it's not a secret anymore that I am not your typical thief. Neither are my friends. We are 138. That, that's all you really need to know. Oh. Oh, so you're the shitty shitholes that have been leaving me messages all the time. Cool. What happens now? I'll tell you what's going to happen now. I'm going to leave you here. You can find your own way out. You might have to cheat, but hey, it's all right. <laughs> Fine. We're used to cheating. You're going to find your way out of here, but the others are going to test your skills. You might die a few times, but a little death never hurt no one. After they've had their fun with you, we're leaving. There's nothing else here worth stealing, but we'll be sure to keep an eye on you. Uh, thanks, Dick Biscuit. I gotta go. Have fun. And remember, it's just a game. At least, it's just a game to us. Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <sighs> well, it's just you and me locked in a jail cell again. Woo. Wanna play 29 bottles of beer on the wall? No. Well, what else are we gonna do? I don't know, we'll try to find a way out. There's no way to lockpick the, the door. There's gotta be a key somewhere. Ah, there we go. Just a a little hint. Did you try to checking all of the cell for the key? Go ahead, you've got the time. One, two, three, eight. So when you say search all of the cell, do you mean search all of the jail cell? Or do you mean all of the cell in terms of computer programming? Like you gotta check the entire cell. check all the individual bars. You're going to have to find two adjacent bars that are loose that you could squeeze through. Are you calling me fat? I'm just stating that these bars are tight. What, what? if we tried to blow up the meat? What? Okay, think about it. The longer you think about it, the more sense it makes. It makes no sense, but we'll try it. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. No, oh, that did nothing, huh? No, Mike, that didn't do anything. All I did was pick up the meat. Damn it, my plan was flawless. Oh, wait, there's another piece. What the hell? <laughs> Where did that even come from? <laughs> it was in the meat the entire time. Oh, my God. <laughs> it told you. This is stupid. <laughs> Blowing up the meat was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. When in doubt, blow the meat out. Experiment number 138, metahumans. Oh, great, that's what 138 is. Uh, Metahumans, we are 138. Everyone else is the enemy. Hypothesis. You suck. Hypothesis, we are not from this world. We are not from any world. We exist because we can, and our role is governed by our being. Observation, we are people, but not so as well. We have strange powers that manipulate the very fabric of this world. Once many thieves, we have ascended. The courier is not unique. There are many other worlds where the courier is someone different. But the world remains the same, changed ever so slightly by the courier's actions. <laughs> the courier is the only one different in each world. We follow the courier and observe them to understand why this is. As for us, we were meant to be thieves, and becoming metahumans didn't change that. This is our role, our existence. We steal because that's who we are. And logically, we will always steal the most important things in the world. Conclusion, we are 138. Shut up, though. How about that one? I've visited a lot of different careers in a lot of different dimensions, and I've got to say, you are the pissiest. Yeah, I know. And... Oh, wine storage? Wine storage? More like wine storage. Oh, you'd be an expert in that, wouldn't you? Ha 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 Oh, there's nothing in here. Nope. That one requires a key. Oh, there's a note pinned to the door. There's a note. Hey, we got another challenge for you. It's me again, Decade. You know, your best friend. God, shut up. The one mortal wants to play with you. So we've locked you in this chamber with him. Don't worry, the key is somewhere in one of the metal boxes. 
Good luck and have fun. And remember, the one mortal is a tough bastard. I think it's supposed to be immortal. Shut up. The one the the one mortal is a tough bastard. No but, matter. Yeah, but it's supposed to be one mortal. I'm right? saying. I'm it's saying. It's supposed to be immortal. I'm saying the one mortal because it's spelled with a one. Okay. Yep, but it's supposed to be immortal. Though. I'm saying the one mortal though. You know, for reality transcending beings, you're pretty fucking stupid. Do you typically argue with notes that you find nailed to doors? When they argue back, yeah. The one mortal is a tough bastard. No matter how many times you knock him down, he'll get back up. So have fun. So should we just kind of sneak around? And Over here! We have to oh, search. Oh, what, what? Oh, no! We're being attacked by these guys! The one mortal, apparently? No, it's immortal! I don't know. The note said one mortal. Yeah, well, the note's an idiot. Okay, let's start checking these metal boxes. We gotta be fast, because he's gonna get back up, though. There it is. Found it. Oh, he's getting back up. I knew he would. Don't well, worry. We'll just run past him. Yeah, he's not going to follow us through a door, would he? No, he can't possibly. He's too stupid. Had enough? He followed us. No, <laughs> this person followed us. Alan 100. Hi, I'm purple. My name's Alan 100. I'm a big old loser. Right, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Great. He followed us. <laughs> okay, I guess he, we probably should leave then, huh? Since you killed him, let me introduce you to Alan 100. Alan's got a talent for math. He can become more and more people each time he dies. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Sincerely, your best friend, Decade. Oh, great. He's just going to increase in size exponentially. Oh, hey! <laughs> yep, there's a few more. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not going to be precise with you this. like that? Rockets, rockets everywhere! More rockets! Everybody who wants a rocket gets a rocket. And if you don't want a rocket, you get two rockets. Wow, this is getting really annoying. There's a lot of you guys, huh? Run, purple face, run! Alright, fine, rockets it is. Uh, these guys have been having steady diets of grapes, haven't they? That's why they're purple? They've been eating too many Smurfs. I'm... Um, uh, you, you're, I guess you're the expert in Smurf eating? Are you Gargamel? Maybe I am Gargamel. Man, you are awesome. God, shut you up, You really decade. are perfect for Vegas. That could have been an act at the tops itself. Ever consider becoming a performer? Maybe you're becoming a performer. Just go fuck yourself. Zach actually has frontlined as a comedian for a while. You know? At the Blue Note, remember? Yeah, it didn't go well. No, it didn't. It closed immediately. Yeah. <laughs> So what, you're not gonna show me your face this time? Nah, not this time. We got a good laugh out of it all, but the mission is over. The Hypermax is ours, and we're leaving Big MT2. Besides, you'll just kill me, and neither <laughs> of us will have gained anything from it. I'll just walk in through the same door I entered before. He'll, he'll gain catharsis. Yeah, I'll feel better. S so you're just leaving without giving us a kiss goodbye? We're gonna be keeping an eye on you. Someday you'll find something else worth taking, and we'll come for it. Not if I don't install any more of your mods. If we do come back, we'll be sure to give you an even tougher challenge. Something more exciting, you know? We killed a lot of purple dudes. That was kind of challenging. What about Dr. Disaster? Aren't you gonna seek retributions for what he's done to you? Retributions? Nah, we're over him. In the end, he did us a lot more good than bad. Besides, he's not as self-aware as he thinks he is. People like Dr. Disaster and Argyle need Neptune in order to see the world as it truly is. But 138 has gone beyond the need for it. He can make all the jokes he wants about how aware he is of the fourth wall, but he can't <laughs> do shit about it. Yeah. We've got a different story. But why are you targeting me and, to a lesser extent, Mike? I guess that part's a bit more complicated. Short answer, we're a little jealous of you. You've got all these powers that most people don't. Time travel, cloning. Even in 138, each of us may only have one of your abilities. That's not super fair, right? I mean, who created you? Who gave you those powers? Uh, I, I think that was just the gag. But at the same time, we weren't always like this. Before the experiment, we were just normal thieves. But these powers let us do way more. Still, stealing is all we'd ever want to do. We just want to steal the most important things, and it <laughs> seems like you come across a lot of nice stuff. We'll see you again later, Courier, and uh, don't forget what they say about war. <laughs> it never changes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hi. 
Just give me a second. Let me get some pulse slugs ready. What's up? <laughs> so, we meet at last, Courier 6. Finally, my greatest enemy's great soldier is within my sight. It is I, Dr. Poltergeist, here to destroy you. <laughs> you do kind of look like a chicken, don't you? After struggling to defeat you at a distance, I realize that I must come to fight you in person <laughs> instead of sending my minions after you. So I have come with my best equipment to do battle. But I am a benevolent man. If you hand over the Hypermax, I will let you go. <laughs> oh, good. We picked that up recently. Look, man, I've had a really long, frustrating day of dealing with reality-hopping assholes that think they're just the best and coolest thing ever. And I don't have the Hypermax with me anymore. Ha! I knew that you wouldn't come lightly. Prepare for... Wait. Wait. Did, did you just say you didn't have it? Yeah. But I literally saw you leave the master chamber. <laughs> yeah. It was stolen by a bunch of thieves. They escaped on a vertebrate. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when that happens? Yeah, it sucks. Well, uh, do, do you have anything worth stealing? <laughs> yeah, I got gum. Oh, yeah, we saw the vertebrate leave, but we thought it was just escaping test subjects or something, so they're gone now. Oh, no closure for us. And at this point, all of my funds have dried up. Like I was going <laughs> to take over all of the big mountain too, but those are all gone now. Yeah, you can't do much when you're broke. And I was kind of banking on taking that Hypermax. Literally the only thing worth profiting from in this whole place. So I'm kind of out of luck. The auto dock armor, it might be something so do you still want to fight i mean i came here anyway i don't leave my airship that often so this is kind of a special thing for me uh, no nah, man i look i don't really want to fight anymore how about we just call it good and leave it oh uh, uh, okay yeah truce i'm um heading back to my airship i don't need to take a long shower or something I guess I'll see you around. Yeah. Okay, bye. See ya. Have a nice day. Where the hell did Dr. Disaster even get the money to build this place? I'm still scratching my head over that. Yeah, uh, I couldn't tell ya. Yeah, I wish I knew. Sorry. Alright, well, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Uh, I nah, got the... Smell you later, chumps. Woo, 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 woo. Hey nerds, we uh we forgot the door's down yeah, here. Sorry, I forgot that we gotta um we gotta go through a different door. Sorry, sorry. We'll just we'll be on our way. Yeah, it's something something nerds. Bye. Man, what do you think Doctor Disaster is gonna say? Uh, Doctor Poultrygeist was his evil arch nemesis, so the fact that you let him get away might slightly annoy him. Hinchman, quick! Where's the hypermax? You got it, right? Uh, yes, but also no. Uh, sorry, uh, 138 escaped with it. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah. Finally, I had an invention that would actually improve living conditions of the wasteland. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's mm. kind of how I feel right now. Oh, well. It's not like this is the first time one of my creations have been taken from me. Just glad Poultry Guy didn't get his hands on this one. Well, Minion, I should be real with you. Between constant outside interference and troublesome experiments on the inside... No, don't tell me. No. I don't think this place is getting much better. Oh, come on. Sure, we've made some progress in restoring some parts, but with each step, we sort of take two back. Yeah. Yeah, you do. But, that but that's fine. I had a realization while you were gone. Uh-huh. When I found the big empty, it too was in disarray. So if this is truly to be its spiritual successor, it only makes sense that this place would be a wreck too. <laughs> a wreck of my own creation. Yeah. So we're not going to restore this place. Just the disaster piece alone. I'm going to smash the bridge and fill the moat with deadly neurotoxins. On top of the radiation? Then I will be able to work at my inventions you've brought me in peace. Underground, in my protected lair. Ah, 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 oh. ah, ah. 
Yeah, we, we do have a camera for you here. Uh, what now? Oh, you? You're done here. I only really need one henchman if I'm gonna run this one building. And Argyle hasn't failed me yet. Sorry. And speaking of which, where the hell is Argyle? Still, you did your job, and you're welcome to come back whenever you want. There is even a special teleporter you can use to get back to the Mojave. No, oh, nice. That'll save some time. Cool. Here, this should cover your pay. Thank you for your help. And remember, the world is fucked. <laughs> so don't be afraid to fuck it up just a little bit more. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. So inspirational. I like that logic. <laughs> Ooh, Doppler effect. Nice. So we can come by and see your pretty face whenever we want. Woo. I was going to ask if you got a quick way for me to get home, but you already mentioned the teleporter. Yeah, I just said I finished fixing the teleporter in the Alpha Lab. D so yeah. you can use that. It'll allow you to come and go from the big empty two as much as you please. Fun stuff. Also, if you're wondering what I've been doing all this time while you were out working so hard, that was pretty much it. Just fixing the teleporter. <laughs> okay, cool. And I can't guarantee that it's 100% safe to use. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah. That's my disclaimer in case you lose all your DNA or <laughs> something like that if, after using it. If we misplace it. If I lose all my DNA, wouldn't I just turn into a pile of goop? Wait, you knew about 138 this whole time? Yeah, I knew about them. Though with most of my incredibly dangerous creations, I tend to try and ignore them with the hopes that they'll just go away. <laughs> You do the same thing I do with my taxes! That's why I didn't initially mention them to you. I honestly just thought they'd have already teleported somewhere else and left us alone for good. But no, I guess they had something to prove. Anyway, if it wasn't for the reinforced shell of that vertebrate they used, the evisceration field should have killed them. Should have, yes. Then again, it's not like that would do anything. They're a little harder to get rid of than most of my failed creations. I'm guessing they took the Hypermax just to spite you, but if that's all they wanted, we probably got out lucky, right? My name's Zach, and I'm going to take a drag out of my sin stick, and if you say something funny, I'm probably going to choke on it, but what are the odds that you would say anything funny? <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> I'll see you later. Yes, yes, of course. Go do whatever it is that you do. Apparently, it's choking on our own saliva, isn't what, it? What, I, what I'm going to do right now is go home and flop into bed and fall asleep. You got your running shoes on, right? Uh, you got heavy metal armor on. Yeah, okay, good enough. What, what are you trying to... What are you going to do? Go, run, 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 <laughs> run, run! I actually don't think anyone minds. <laughs> so, that's the teleporter right over there, right? That... That blue, glowy, science fiction-looking thing? No, that's the Halo storage area, remember? Oh. So where's the teleporter? It's this porta potty looking thing! What? You're kidding me. Let's cram on in there! It... This just looks like a porta potty with a big glass with That's way more science fiction-y! <laughs> yes! Look at how cool that looks! Uh-huh, uh-huh. This is just hot trash! Oh my god, this whole place has just been a huge letdown. Get in the porta potty let's get the fuck out of here! Okay, but you first! Where the hell are we? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it just teleported us. <laughs> yup. Did it tell? It put us in the women's bathroom at the Atomic Wrangler. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. We got a teleporter take you to Big Mountain too. <laughs> I gotta go talk to Doctor Usanagi. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Get that parasite removed. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that looked at like right now because it's starting to itch real bad. Uh, we got power on made out of milk. Holy shit. <laughs> Do you still want to fight? Uh, I mean, I came here anyway. I don't leave my airship that often, so this is kind of a special thing for me. Zack runs up and starts slapping rapidly at his helmet. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Get off me! Ice this bitch! <laughs>